we're attempting for the first time this evening, we have been improving on Persia. Mm. It now has functioning brakes, functioning gear linkage, a functioning clutch. The engine ain't bad. It's to stop making the horrible knock, 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 knocky noise, which we reckon was an injector. It has a few floor based structural issues, but to be honest, not actually main cab structure and the chassis is good. All the suspension pickups are good. It is taxed. It is MOT exempt. And in my view, I've got all the lights to work. It's roadworthy. Yes, the floor's a bit crispy, but that won't hurt for testing on it to make sure it works. So what we're going to do this evening is see if it will make my house and back. I will demonstrate that it's now start. It's getting better and better and better and better and better and better and better every time. Right, that needs to be there, they need to be up here, this needs to be around there. And we even found the window wiper switch. Perfect. Cold on the, hang on, let's make sure we're not in gear, no, we're not in gear. On the heaty starty. She does like the heaty starty. It'll pick up on the fourth cylinder in a minute. So what I've got to do is attach the number plate quickly, adjust on the fan belt. Now, ugh, we do still have some coolage leaking issues, but I'm doing if I take a big bucket of water tub thing with me, we can just pour it in on the way home. And the lights are work. Give it a bucket of the revs. And as you will have noticed, that breather pipe is rubbish and collapses. We'll go for the race tune there, filter on the way home. It's a bit of crankcase pressure there, we're not worried about that. Yes, this is good. We need to sort the squeaky belt, change the air filter, or at least clean it. We have the French spec yellow headlights, and uh, find somewhere to fit this. I do like old school engineering, where you can turn it off from under the bonnet without breaking anything. Right, I'll just get that done a minute and then we're going to drive home. So we have um, welded some uh, washers on the number plate thing using safety squints, obviously. It's, uh, Bent and buggered, it uh, doesn't matter. Um, we uh, we have cleaned on the air filtration system and I have slammed my screwdriver in the bonnet because I'm a numpty. i to go and get that back. And obviously, this is the uh, <coughs> bonnet cable's a bit rubbish, so you need to be pulling. You've gone, where is the bonnet cable? There. The bonnet cable. Come on, is it back? Come oh. on. Un momento. Right, now I have unwedged my screwdriver from under the bonnet um, and covered the bonnet in dirty handprints again. We are ready for the off. So what I'm going to do now is move you people in the cab with me. 
Ox workshop up and then we're going for gold. This is a stupid idea, this is. Right, you're locked up. Ready to rock and roll. Excuse the slightly poor light conditions and the noises, but microphones don't work in this type of thing. Ooh. We just won't be able to hear a thing. We are going to attempt, if we're feeling brave, we're going to fool with this diesel. If it's awful, we're just going home. But we have lights, we have brakes. We've got one of that horrible cold potatoes we had. I think we're all good to go. Right, Paul. Yeah, see where we're going. Where are you going? We're just going to stop in the middle of the road. Course, we're just going to stop in the middle of the road. We've considered the fact that anyone else wants to come through, would you? By the slightly gaffy third gear, we could have jumped around a seatbelt, I suppose. Don't know that's going to work or not. No, that's rubbish. We're just leaving that there. Don't moan with me. Dash lights, they no function. Indicates do. Yep. We're away. Getting better on that third gear. For a little, it is a 1.8 by the way, apparently. I did some researching. A little 1.8 four cylinder diesel. I don't know why. Why would you assume they were the 2.1? One thing that doesn't work is the speedo, so it's going to go out to 30 and let them around full power. I noticed that they're not, 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 not,
smooth, smoothly done. We need to adjust the gear linkage up a bit. Not for that. Which is good. Back up into the fourth. A few moments later. Right, so there it goes again. Now we are obviously going to need the heatings again. What I'm going to do is get throw some fuel in first. Actually, once we made that, turn that off. Right, the heatings. <coughs> like a bit of heat.
Well, you may know that's third, and I know you won't like third because you're cold. I need to remember to cancel the indicators. Back in the woods, or the toilet towels. Oh, I'm just washing with me was probably a good idea. Right. Steps. I have my Costa, but we haven't got a cup holder, so we may have to rectify all that. What I've got to try and do now is to persuade it to go again. And we're out again. Hold that. Oh, the little champ! She is alive! Rare old Greenwood Vision is awful. Do not park your shitty Range Rover right behind me. Thank you. Is that the reverse? That is reverse. Right. Uh, lights, lights, lights. First. First, hold on to coffee. General terrifying this. I think that may be my new coffee shelf. I think I'm just going to go round the village and say, have save having to try any reversing. I can't see, fuck all. Thank you, nice German people, that was very kind of you. Well, we are off in second, slightly slippy clutch. Across the main road. Can you drive your 1976-77 R-registered 404 pickup truck that you acquired the other week that doesn't work as a daily? Yes, you can. We're going to need some more stuff, because the radiator still is a bit leaky. Got to try and find one of those or find something that will fit in the hole. And I will need to buy a floor pan and make a bit of inner body section at the back. But, yes, I'm going to try and drive it to Lulworth tomorrow. Slowly. So thank you very much. Ow, 60 diesels.